and staying on with news from that front. Russia, it is the world's largest oil producer and Ukrainian drones have struck the heart of the industry. The attacks moved up a gear again this week, hitting larger facilities closer to Moscow, including one of the largest in the country. A NATO official who spoke on the condition of anonymity to Reuters claimed that Ukrainian strikes may have disrupted more than 15% of the Russian capacity and continued to believe that Moscow still lacked sufficient munition and manpower to launch a successful offensive. The wave of strikes on Russia's oil refinery started in January and since then, both Russia and Ukraine have used drones to strike critical infrastructure, military installations and troop concentrations. As per reports in Reuters, according to 14% of Russia's refining capacity, it's been shut down by drone attacks. And those damaged Russian refineries will get back to normal operations by early June, as per Russia's energy minister. The NATO official further added that Russia was recruiting about 30,000 people a month to absorb the heavy losses. On Thursday, Russian attacks on Kharkiv killed at least four people and injured over 12. The Shire drone struck two residential buildings in the city near the Russian border, cutting off power for over 350,000 Ukrainian residents. The official said Moscow was likely to ramp up such strikes as it sought to degrade Ukraine's air defense capabilities. Yesterday, NATO marked its 75th anniversary, and during the NATO foreign minister's meet in Brussels, Ukraine's foreign minister pleaded for the alliance to free up available Patriot air defense systems, which come in the backdrop of American-made F-16 fighter jets that are due to arrive in Ukraine this summer. A senior Ukrainian military official, however, said that they are no longer relevant, that they are no longer relevant despite a lengthy training program. Moscow has turned to its allies, especially North Korea and Iran, to supply it with more weapons, including ballistic missiles. When asked whether NATO witnessed Iran transferring ballistic missiles to Russia, the official said that the alliance was not aware of it yet, but hoped that Iran could carry out the transfer once conditions were met. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.